Good morning besties. Welcome to a beautiful brand new day. I am so excited for today's video We are going to be going out of town for a little sisters trip It's honestly just gonna be a very chill weekend. We're gonna go out of town, but we're gonna do some shopping We're just gonna hang out. I'm excited to go do that But first we have a couple of things that we have to take care of like as you can hear in the background We've got the laundry going. We've got to run some errands before we head out and last but I guess technically maybe first because I'm going to do that right now and that is getting my workout done because that comes as a priority for me and I know that the rest of this weekend I'm probably not gonna have time or I'm gonna feel extra tired during the trip because I'm gonna be driving we're gonna do a lot of walking and usually when I drive I run out of energy so fast I mean when you're driving you're like alert all senses on board and so I just know that I'm probably not going to get a workout in during this trip so I want to find the time make that time like what we've been talking about so I woke up my regular time right now I'm going to get that workout in and then I'll probably work out when I get back but I did pack some clothes to work out in my bag just in case I get a spark of motivation to hit the gym at the hotel but if I'm not up for it it is totally okay because I'm already making the time right now to hit my goals and I'm already planning to hit my goals when I come back from the trip and as the pre-workout is kicking in, I also want to take the time to do a quick little journaling session and also just read a couple of pages. Honestly, I know I'm not going to get any reading done while I'm on my trip. I mean, I'm still going to take the book because I like to carry things with me on trips that I think I'm going to use, but I don't end up using. So they just travel with me. And my book is definitely one of them because I don't think I'm going to have any time or energy to read. But, you know, I want to read a couple of pages right now. So that way we're being productive towards meeting that goal. And then I'm gonna have to dedicate some time when I come back to reading so that I can try to finish before the month is over. But you know what? We're just going with the flow. We're getting things done. No worries. We'll get everything done. There's always time, right? We can make the time, we can find the time. That time exists. It's just about finding it. Took shower, dressed, did my makeup. Now I am fully ready to go. But we actually packed my bigger suitcase, so it's finally getting used. We're taking that one and we just all put our clothes in there. So I'm going to take this little tiny suitcase because I have a couple of things I still need to put away or take with me. Okay, so I have my makeup bag. I've got my skincare toiletry stuff in here. Okay, update, I need to add a little hair clip, some ligas, and a brush. I have my body lotion, my dry shampoo, and my hair oil. So I'm gonna put in this bag for some extra safety so that way if it leaks, hopefully it leaks in the bag. So I put all of my devices and chargers into my little GoPro pouch and I have my GoPro in my purse. My family might be right. Maybe I am an overpacker. You know, to them, I'm an overpacker, but to me, I say I'm just well prepared. We have arrived at the room and I'm gonna do a quick little room tour for you guys. It's actually really big and spacious. So here's a little quick pan around. It has this couch here, this little desk area here, which is nice because I can sit down and edit if I do that. Um, we have one TV here, which we're gonna try to like, oh, okay. We're gonna try to live stream Becky G's performance here because we're excited for that. Here's the room itself, and there's another TV that we can also stream at over here. And 
we have a beautiful window view of the parking lot the bathroom on this side and then the sink to wash your hands with a little mirror right here we also have a full length mirror too so that's a plus it's kind of late it's 4 16 and we don't want to be out too late by ourselves but we're gonna go just walk around the mall today since it's our first day it's the travel day we're all a little tired so we're just gonna go and check out the mall check out the stores and probably eat at the food court so we don't have to go that far Alright, checking in. It is the next day. Yesterday, we only ended up going to the mall, grabbing some food from the food court, and then we came back. I honestly knocked out yesterday at 9. I was tired. Travel days are always so tiring, but now we're heading out. I think, could we not have one today? Maybe. Oh, tomato, tomato. Oh, we're all wearing white shoes. No way. Cute. Oh my god, we are. <laughs> <laughs> For a lot of people, this probably isn't fun, but we're gonna hit up grocery stores. We're gonna go to Asiana Market. We're gonna go to H Mart. We're gonna go try. Christina, what's the shaved ice place called? Bingsu. Bingsu. We're also going to Daiso. So, yeah, we have a day full of fun things today. Also, we're here for Ceci's birthday celebration. Woo woo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Woo okay. okay. woo. -hoo. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's head out. Hey, okay, everyone. See belts buckled? The air's still not on. Oh. <laughs> My Uber rating doesn't start just yet. It started, oh, it started <laughs> when we got in. Okay, sorry. Um, we didn't get the direction. Oh, we need that first <laughs> before we start getting them. Wait, where are we going? Uh, put AG on the market first. No, actually, we gotta go to Circle Paper to get ice. So let's drive. Put in the directions for Circle Paper. Uh, on your phone? Yeah. Turn to the right. Do not bring them. Oh my god, look, we're here. Um, we made it. Okay. I just can't see, like, far away. Do they have ice? I mean, they should. But I think it's back there. Over there. so that we could put Tessie's cake here in the ice chest. That's why we went to go get ice, but Christine and Brenda are distracting her. Also got some macarons. I'll show you guys what I got later. And I also grabbed a coffee so I could take one for the team and they could be like, that's why she's taking longer. Not because the coffee like benefits me in any way. Please, you're shaking your butt so good. That was, that was good. That was good. Check in number two. We just finished at Asiana Market. Next, we're gonna hit up H Mart. So, hopefully, honestly, 
fingers crossed we fit going back home because we were already packed coming over here and we're gonna be packed going back so we're gonna be struggling but yes we got some tetris going on back there but i got some coffee just a regular mocha one from the tule jour maybe that's how you pronounce it i don't know i probably butchered that baby tule jour tule jour tous le jour tous les jours i don't know how do you think you pronounce that tous le jours tous le jours tous le jours what what Hey, your macarons, don't you want them? <gasps> My macarons! Yes! I got a new flavor. They had a rose flavor. I'm excited about that. They had a rose. Flavor. They also had the birthday cake. I got lemon. I know. Let me see. Let me get them while they're nice and fresh. Anyone want to try? Yeah. But they're cute. Yeah, they're so cute. The little sides. butts on the back. Do they all? Yeah. Oh, duh, that's cute. Grab those two, Brenda. The tikka and the. That. There you go. Careful, they're glass. It's ginger and soda. Hey, what is it? What is that? Yogurt? That looks like yogurt, but the bottle is... It's a baby bottle! Hey, don't break it. Do you guys want to try this or no? Sure. Basically, it's fried. Yeah. We'll need something to wash down on the snacks. Can you get this before? At the hotel. Just one. Listen, share. Oh. Hey, take what she gives you. Oh, I get it. I'm the one who looked at it. So? Here. Anyways, I'm getting some curry sauces because I want to try making curry at home now that I'm in my cooking era. Everybody's review of the Jinshabu. Um, it was good. I didn't get uh, it. It was definitely one to try. Uh, yes, but I, agree. I definitely would have preferred over three of our I agree. That's true. Me too. Me too. Me four. It was good, but 
it was good for the experience but i don't know if i would and, like it. and that's that i wanted to go to korean barbecue but they told me no. well we've been to korean barbecue like 500 so? times already it's we good. just wanted to try something different oh but that slushy though that slushy. i'd come back I'd for come that back slushy <laughs> Okay guys, so we were going to give Ceci her cake later tonight, like at midnight, but to be honest, we're all grandmas and we're probably gonna be asleep by then. But we decided, we sent Christina and Ceci to go and get ice. Also, I think this, is, this works perfectly because we're not gonna have to keep hiding. Look at the cake we got her, it's so cute. It's a chocolate cake. Should we call my mom and dad? We should call my mom and dad, where's my phone? Like this? Yes. I'm also gonna set up my GoPro right here <laughs> so you can see where. Ma, okay. le, vamos a, le vamos a cantar happy birthday a Ceci. Política? Sí, pero le vamos a dar su pastel. I think we should leave it open. Uh, they didn't bring a key. They're coming, they're coming. Shh, shh, shh. This way, Brenda, this way. Brenda, this way. Hurry, hurry. So we can see you through the mirror. Oh, really? <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Ceci! Crystal, you can't, they can't even see her! Happy birthday to you! Thank you! Yay! Blow out the candle! <laughs> Oh, this is cute. <laughs> you know what? You could get a good Instagram picture over there with a good line. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. Oh, Christina, they gave us a spatula. Gracias. Yeah. I told Ida. her. That's cute. This is very awkward. Are you on line for the cake? Yeah, me <laughs> too. <laughs> Hold it. Oh. Thanks. Can you cut the cake now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do we just use our hands? We can. I guess so. Mm -hmm. Let's try this chocolate. You guys thought about the mm -hmm. knife? Mm -hmm. It melts right in your mouth. Like literally. Mm -hmm. It's not even crunchy. You guys thought about the knife, but not the forks and the forks is I told Christina, but she said we could use our hands. She said God gave them to us for a reason. Period. <sighs> she mm -hmm. said if you complain, don't eat it. Mm -hmm. We're heading downstairs where the food pizza. Uh, we previously had this extravagant plan to go and get some food at a restaurant, but we're all lazy. We're just gonna stay in, have a cozy little staycation, maybe play some Mario Kart, some games or something, hit the pool, hit the gym. Got the goods secured. Got the goods secured. We have gotten the pizzas. We're about to put our Rosalia's Coachella performance on. We're just gonna sit here and enjoy the food. Little pizza tour, we got two pizzas. <laughs> we got breadsticks. And, oh yeah, that they almost didn't give us a sauce. And Christina and Brenda got wings. Let me turn around what we do then. Just like that, we are back home. We actually have been home for a little bit, 7.56 now. We we're just kind of getting back into the swing of things, taking our time, unloading everything, just kind of recharging for a bit. But I also thought I would do a quick little haul of what I got on my trip. I didn't get a lot of things. I'm not really that big of a shopper. I don't really like to drop a bag, but I was thinking, you know, maybe it's because I don't have a bag to drop. This is all that I got. So. First thing, I just got some new Nike socks. These are my go-tos. 
Second thing I got is this pair of green Nike sweatpants. You can never go wrong with a good pair of sweats. Got them in my favorite color. Totally did not mean to do that, but we love green here. We also went to Daiso. I got couple of things from Daiso. So this is a pack of blotting sheets. Honestly, my face gets so oily, especially now that the summer's coming around. My face is about to be glistening and it doesn't always look the cutest because <laughs> it looks like I'm sweating. So I'm going to take these to work so I can have them in my little cubby, a little pill case. And I actually don't take any pills, but I do take vitamins. And let me tell you guys, sometimes I forget to take my vitamins and I'm like, Going about my day, and I'm like, dang it, I forgot to take my vitamin D, I forgot to take my iron pill, I forgot to take all of these different things. I actually don't take them every single day, but it would be nice to just have them. So I'm going to put like my magnesium caps in here, iron pills going in here. I just kind of alternate, mainly because I'm really scared of like ODing. I know it's probably not possible, but in my head it's possible. Popping some vitamin D in here gonna pop this baddie in my bag oh i also got this at daiso it's one of those little lint removers it's like the electric ones the next couple of things i actually didn't get while we were away i ordered them but they got here while i was away first thing i got is my all-time favorite hair oil this is the best thing in the entire world it smells divine i swear it helps my hair grow i heard about it on tiktok tried it it is the best thing in the entire world highly recommend it check it out it is by fable and main it's holly root hair oil oh my god it smells divine i love this i also got this nars afterglow lip balm i love these this one i thought the color was going to be a little bit nicer i did already open this it just it looks really pretty but it comes on very very sheer i like the red one I forget what it's called, but I guess this one will do. Or I might return it, I don't know, I gotta think about it. Last thing I got from Sephora is this. It is the Amica Curl Corpse Defining Cream. This is the cream that the hairstylist recommended, so I thought I'd give it a try. Got that. Also the packaging on this is like the cutest thing ever. And the last thing that I got that I also got here before I even left. I got a new pre-workout and it's in a new flavor. I think it just dropped. The new flavor is Kiwi Guava. That sounds delicious. The packaging, I mean, they always get me with the packaging too. Like that is so freaking cute. We're gonna try that. I'm excited. I'm ready to get back into it. I need to recharge with my workout. I need to just clear my mind, get back in the zone. Let's do a quick taste test. Okay, it smells quite fruity. Actually, okay, this reminds me of the Strawberry Shortcake VHS cover. If you remember, this one right here, I used to have that. I was obsessed with the way it smelled, and this is what it kind of... This is what it smells like. I feel like Alani New just doesn't make bad flavors, in my opinion. I've never come across a flavor that I did not like. And I think the reason why I like it is because the tastes are so subtle. It's not overpowering. It doesn't linger in your mouth. Like you just enjoy it when you sip it and then it's done. This one's a little bit sweeter, which I like though. It's like sweet, sour at the same time. It's delicious. I love it. Quick workout done out of the way. I feel so good getting my workout in, especially after a long drive and just sitting in the car for several hours. <sighs> it just felt good to move my body, you know. I had taken some clothes with me if I wanted to go to the gym, but physically I was in the mood to work out, but mentally I was drained and I did not even want to work out. So I just listened to my mind and came to common ground with my mind and body that I would just work out when I got back. And now we've got that done out of the way. Sticking to the promise that I made myself to show up and still also giving myself that time to rest, recover, and enjoy the trip while I was there. 
but now i'm gonna go hop in the shower because i feel yucky my hair feels yucky but i wanted to sweat and get the workout in before i showered tmi i'm gonna go shower now <laughs> I think the tiredness is starting to hit me. I can definitely feel it now. I'm about ready to knock out. I'm gonna put on a quick little face mask, massage out my face muscles, and then just get in this calm, meditative state right before bed. I absolutely love traveling. It's my favorite thing. I'm sure a lot of people can relate. Traveling is just always so fun. But I swear, whenever I travel, I get so thrown off of routine that it takes me a couple of days to just get back into the swing of things and I'm tired for a couple of days. Like I just know and I'm prepared to be tired for the rest of this week. Even though I didn't sleep late, like I literally slept at nine most days, but I think I overslept and that also throws you off. Just as undersleeping can throw you off, oversleeping can also throw you off and that happened to me i'm gonna be gentle as i'm transitioning back into my everyday life also does anyone else feel like trips feel like a fever dream like i swear to you every time i go on a trip and i come back home i feel like it never happened and because it feels like it never happened i feel almost disconnected for a couple of days while i'm trying to get back into routine almost like i have to come back to life it's so weird it's such a weird feeling and i hope i'm not the only one because if i am the only one then i think i'm crazy but hopefully i'm not the only one when i was thinking about how am i going to get my workout in over the weekend we're going to be going out of town i made the time to work out in the morning before we left and then i allowed myself to just enjoy the entire weekend over there and then when i got back home i made the time to work out i found that balance i allowed myself to just enjoy rest but then also still meet my goals and so i'm just proud of myself for finding that balance creating that balance and creating that time and making that time because there's plenty of time in the days it just comes down to how you make it work but anyways i'm going to just continue massaging my face here and then probably do a little reading because i'm very behind on that